Hey guys, today I wanted to uh, show you a tool called uh, the Tube tool. It's very easy, so it should be a very short tutorial. Uh, the Tube tool, well, like the name implies, it creates a tube. So what you need uh, to make a tube is first create a curve here. And you can make any shape you want with the curve. And you can edit it later to um, uh, create a better shape. So if you didn't get the shape right uh, the first time you drew it, uh, you can also always edit it later. So, and with this with this tube of, or I mean with this um, uh, curve, you can create a tube. So you can go to the tube tool. And there we go. You can uh, adjust the, the width. For instance, let's go with one. Oh, it's maybe a little bit too thick. Let's go with seven. And there are two um, options here: open ends, with, which creates an open mesh, and flat ends, with, which creates, of course, a uh, solid mesh with um, closed ends. Uh, I'm now going to go with open ends because I want to make a solid um, tube um, which is uh, with, with which, ha which has open ends but is also solid so I'm going to show you how you can do that. Alright so let's get rid of this curve I'm just going to hide it and here we have our tube object and the tube object you can still edit in the same way that you can edit your curve you can move these around wherever you want to you can if you uh, are short of points if you don't have enough points you can always subdivide it you can uh, select this uh, section and you can click on subdivide selection and it creates an additional point. All right. <coughs> and oh yeah, you can also always uh, also um, adjust the thickness of the tube within this editor. And you can uh, set thickness. You can increase it, for example, to one, to make a very to make it a little bit thicker here, you, know, you can make it thinner, whatever you want. And there's also an option called uh, set smoothness, and that's the smoothness of the of the curve of the tube, so to speak. So I'm going to show you that. If I set the sm smoothness of this point that I have selected over here, if I set it to zero, you get a very angular part here. You can also, of course, if you liked it more, the, use the polymesh um, editor thing here. Alright, I'm just going to set this back because I like it more when it's smooth. And you can, of course, still um, choose to make these um, endpoints clo uh, flat, like this, or you can click closed which which makes the tube one whole thing in this case it doesn't look very good because the points are very far uh, apart um, but anyway I'm just going to use the no, the open ends all right so now how to make this hollow uh, or I mean how to make this solid uh, and at the same time make uh, keep this uh, hollow object. Uh, we're going to use the polymesh editor for that, but um, so we first need to convert this to a poly uh, polymesh, polygonal mesh. Uh, however, before you do that, you have to convert it to a triangle mesh, or else um, our version may get confused. All right, it uh, asks us here uh, the tolerance, 
and this is, is basically the amount of detail that will be present. Uh, the lower the number, the higher the detail will be. So if I set it to 0 0.01, as you can see it uh, smoothed up a little bit. And if you go to wireframe, you can see it, it has quite a lot of polygons. All right, so let's use this. Oh no, wait, this is a, a triangle mesh, so we still have to convert it again to a polygonal mesh. And it's going to ask us uh, these options. And I always go with the triangles because it doesn't change the mesh that way. Um, the triangle mesh, as the name implies, um, uh, it will uh, the mesh will be made of uh, up of triangles, and the poly mesh can of course also uh, use the triangles. But the the, poly, the poly mesh is different uh, from the triangle mesh in, in the sense that it will also work with um, polygons that have multiple points, for, for instance, like uh, quads that you saw in the, in the, in the options, that's like square, square polygons. All right, so here we have our tube in the poly mesh editor. And what we're going to do now is use the Thicken tool that I have explained in a previous tutorial. So I'm not going to go very deeply into that. Whoop, it was a little bit too fast. And here we have our solid tube. And uh, that was my uh, tutorial about the tube object. I hope you uh, found this useful. And uh, I'll see you later.